Hi, and welcome to this episode of The Hot Seat. I'm your host, Jeff Colley. Today we have special guest, Mr. Jason Tony, who is the newest principal at the North County Middle School. He spent several years as an assistant prior to that. We'll That's get right. into that here in just a moment. Be sure to like and subscribe on the YouTube digital media channel for Unitech. And Jason, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's we're go. glad to have you here. Thank All you. Right. Number one, what is your favorite sport to play and what's your favorite sport to watch? So sometimes those can differ. Well, Mr. Colley, when you get to my age, I'm not quite as old as you are, but when you, mature. Get, to mature, mature. When you get to our age, uh, playing sports is a little bit different than when you were 22. Sure. Uh, but playing sports, baseball was my baseball, favorite one to play. Mine as well. Um, watching my favorite is football, to be honest with you. NFL, college? I can do both. Yeah. Uh, over the last couple of years, I've – kind of leaned more towards college, but I can still watch some NFL. Yeah, I'm a big NFL guy. There's just too many college teams for me to follow. you got to pick two or three. And just yeah, go, and, I think and that's what you have to do. Up and down, and as long as it's not Alabama, you'll be okay. <laughs> Pretty good rule. Mm -hmm. What is your least favorite thing about administration? Because you've been out of the classroom thing. now for how many years? I've been out of the classroom now for going on five years. Okay. Um, my least favorite thing about administration is going to be not having that daily interaction with, it's at the secondary level, 125, 140 kids, um, where you can see that daily growth and you can kind of see them mature as the year goes on. Um, as an administrator, you kind of walk around in, in the middle school and you see these seventh graders and they're, they're still little kids sometimes. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after Christmas, they come walking down the hallway and you're like, they have a beard. Yeah, that kid's posting up for, you know, the basketball team. Right. When did that happen all of a sudden? So. I, I agree with that, and I also think that, um, you know, all those people that, that will tell you, well, you need to get into administration, you can affect more students. No, I think you affect more students as a classroom it's, teacher. It's daily. It's day yes, in, daily. day out. They're I the agree. ones that are going to bring you their issues, not necessarily problems, but things that are going on in their life. And usually it's the teachers that come to us and say, hey, there's something wrong. Right. This kid. Or this, or this not, kid did something great. Or right. this kid did something great, and let's get a hold of their family and let them know that. Right. Those positive right. phone calls. Coaching as well. You, you oh, absolutely. You saw that in coaching as well. What jobs did you have before you got into education? Oh, my gosh. Um, several. <laughs> uh, I started a little bit late. Being an educator, I was about 25, 26. Um, it took me a little while to kind of figure out what I wanted to do. Uh, so, uh, let's see. I worked in restaurants. Um, I went to college in Cape Girardeau to Southeast Missouri State University. The Southeast the Missouri State The Southeast University. Missouri State University. So I had uh, worked in restaurants, uh, worked at Sears, which you never hear about anymore. Right, right. I worked remember the, Sears down there. Worked in the automotive center uh, yeah. down there for a little bit. Um, worked downtown in Cape at different various uh, areas. When I was in high school, I spent two years working for a place called Ross Furniture that was based out of Jackson, mm -hmm. Missouri. But they had a place in Perryville, Missouri, which is where I grew up, and uh, worked there for two years. And I was about, you know, the, the cliched five foot nothing, uh, 100 and nothing, right. and got to move uh, couches all day. Right. Uh, but it toughened you up pretty quick. Okay. Good answers there. Um, who would play you in a movie about yourself? I knew this question was coming. So we <laughs> ask this every time. This and is it's a such a fantastic well, it's a gimme for people. Um, you, and you want to be super cool and say something like a, like a 1951 era Marlon Brando. Yeah, McQueen the, in the 60s. Yeah, Steve, the king of cool, that yes. kind of. Um, but honestly, when you see people like Marlon Brando, especially later on, or I like Tom Cruise. Um, I like Brad Pitt. You're taller than Tom things. Cruise. Just barely. He's got the lifts on. But every time you see him, you see Tom Cruise. So I like, I've always been fascinated with movies and film and cinema and things like that. I know you've taught in a film class. I yep. used to teach one. I like character actors. And when I think about this, there are two especially. One's a little bit older. That would be Daniel Day-Lewis, who's fantastic oh, and everything. One of the greatest But I'm going to go generation. with Joaquin Phoenix because he can do all, just all sorts of different things. Yeah. And As opposed to Joaquin Andujar, who's a little taller than you. He's a little taller and could throw the ball a little bit faster. Yes. Just a touch. Joaquin Phoenix, you know, I remember when you first started North County, you were introduced by Mrs. 
Hampton mm -hmm. as Zach Galifianakis. You had the longer beard then. Yeah, and it was a little less gray than it is now, but that's all right. Okay. I've never never seen that. People would always go, oh, you look like the guy from The Hangover. And I said, Bradley Cooper. <laughs> I just wake up like this. I can't do much about it. Yeah, you, you get what you get. Yeah, that's right. I think I know the answer to this. But what advice would you give to new administrators? <laughs> that's not fair. Uh, there's a couple pieces of advice, Mr. Colley, that I would give to new administrators. One of them is, if you are an administrator and you're dealing with a couple of kids and there's a fight, it's real simple. If you throw, you go. Throw, you go. And another big one is, if I have to get onto a bus, somebody getting off. That's right. That's and we'll right. call mom or dad and we'll come get you. Um, I think that was probably your very first day, I told you. Was it your first it day? It was the first day you and I ever met. We were in a... a in your vehicle, and we were going to the Micus O'Toole Law Seminar. Right, right. It was your first time in admin. First time I'd met anyone at North County. Right. And they stuck me with you. Yeah. Been stuck. learning ever and since. I, and I said, the only two things you got to remember, if you throw, you go. If you get you on, know, make somebody on. get off that bus. Good job. Uh, what's the best thing about being related to Mike Spuds Hensley? Because <laughs> this is Mike's your brother-in-law. Spud. Mike, Nobody knows him by Mike. No, everybody Spud's knows your brother -in -law. him by Spud. Uh, and he lives in Farmington. The best thing about uh, being related to Spud is not a day goes by I don't hear about how great the Mets are doing, <laughs> how great the Dallas Cowboys are doing. He's a huge Cowboys and guy. And he can tell you this happened in, this, in the third quarter in, in any game. Yes. He watches so much sports. And he lives and dies by high school sports, too. And he will, I didn't know that. He'll text me on a Friday night about 930 and go, oh, my gosh. Uh, North County did this, and I'm like, I'm at the game, and I just saw that. And right. He's like, yeah, he but, knows. That, but Central did this, and then right. they, or Valley did this, and Farmington did this. And I'm like, how are you keeping – I don't know how he does it, but it's amazing. Good. Speaking of television, what are some te television shows that you've binge-watched? Just start watching. Can't stop watching until you finish. There's one here in the last couple of years that I was late to the party at, and I don't know if I'm a contrarian by nature. Um, but Game of Thrones. I oh, was late yeah. to the party. It was probably the third or fourth season before I got into it. But once I started, we just went right through. Mm -hmm. And just the epic scale of all of that stuff and the production value is amazing. And I just got swept away with it. Great. Okay. Good answer. Um, what vehicle did you drive in high school? This is a two-part question. <laughs> what kind of vehicle did you drive in high school is the first part. Okay. Um, I guarantee you I'm going to be the only person that answers with this particular vehicle. I had, and you can look it up on, you can Google it, folks, a 1974 Chrysler Newport. Oh, I remember the Newport. Um, it was about 108 feet long. Um, it only it, came in about four colors. It came Did you in have about a black one? Colors. No, this one was kind of a copperish brown, but mm -hmm. it had faded over Hang the around years. brown. Um, had a 400 cubic engine, uh, cubic inch engine in it. Um, probably took you about a minute and a half to get to 60. Once you got there, you just put one finger on it and drive and just cruise. So in this Newport, mm -hmm. where was your first car date? Remember where you went on your first car? Because you got that oh sense goodness. of freedom at first time. Oh, you yeah. got your finger on that Newport, you know, and you're We're going driving. down the road. Um, where are you headed? We went to the movies. Now, I, again, I grew up in Perryville, and at the time we didn't have a movie theater. So I had to ask permission of her from her parents to be able to drive her down to Cape to see a movie. Did you go and to Town and Country Theater, the old school of down Broadway, or the old? No, the old Town and the uh, yeah. no, 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 the one on Kings Highway, the one there in the corner. Yeah, that's Town. Yeah, and country. yeah, yeah, yeah. Town and Country. Went to that one, and we saw Wayne's World. Wayne's World. That was yeah. probably one date. Uh, it was one date because um, lights come up, you know, and we. Walking out, and her parents were right there. Didn't know they were there. <laughs> Followed us. I swear I was trustworthy, though. Yeah. I was yeah. a good guy. Okay. Um, where's the most interesting place you've visited on a vacation? On a vacation? Um, I'm going to cheat a little bit on that. Mm -hmm. um, when I was in college, I had the opportunity to go to Germany. Okay. And, uh, Pretty we, interesting. Yeah. We went to uh, Munich, and then we went into Austria, and we saw... Um, just beautiful country there. We went to a place called Neuschwanstein, which is the castle that Disney is based, based off on. of. And it's up there in the mountains, and it was snowing. And uh, we were walking up this path to get up there, 
And about halfway, I was just like, this is, this is just crazy. It's beautiful, and we're going to get up there. Everybody's trudging on their way up there, and I found out, oh, they have carriages. Here's five bucks. I'm, I'll meet you guys up there. So I, I was waiting on all them. Good. Answer. Beautiful country, though. If you could interview someone from history, who would you interview? What a great question. Um, doing kind of what we do, and we're dealing with the public, and we're dealing with um, just all sorts of moving parts. I think Abraham Lincoln would be a great person to interview. Just We were just talking earlier about kind of seeing the big picture of things. But the real Abraham Lincoln, not Daniel Day-Lewis playing Lincoln. I don't know. He might be able to pull it off. <laughs> but, yeah, Abraham Lincoln would be a great person to okay, talk to. Okay, great one. Okay. Um, what song would you pick for Slow Dance? Oh. The girl song. decides, you know what, parents didn't kill it after Wayne's World. Now you got an opportunity. <laughs> You're to dance. I'm gonna you get to request the song for a slow dance. I'm go and, here and here's a couple reasons why. I'm going to go back to when I was 16 after that Wayne's World's date, and I'm going to go with the song you know, I don't think anybody's going to remember. It's called Giving Yourself Away by Rat. I don't remember the song. That is a deep cut. Mr. A Lowry, cut. I think, knows the song <laughs> by Rat. No, I don't. Uh, Rat giving your I yeah, Giving Yourself Away by Rat, and because that first slow, slow dance – it's like five and a half minutes long. Oh, so you can make it last. There you go. In case you blow it at the first yeah. part. Okay. Okay, we can recoup. All right, multiple choice here. Journey, REO Speedwagon, or the Eagles. Got to go with the Eagles. Yeah. Seen them All in concert. three pretty good. All greats, but I've seen the Eagles. Okay. Uh, Nashville, fantastic. The Eagles always seems to be, we ask this question a lot, the Eagles are our, our, our best answer on there. Um, this is one of my favorite questions. What was popular in high school that's no longer popular now? When you were in high school, what was popular? Not, not even mentioned now. You don't see it anymore. Like I mentioned earlier, I grew up in a place called Perryville, which is an alternate dimension. Most people right. don't even yeah. recognize it. Yeah, it's like quantum leap. Um, and when you're in ninth grade, you know, they give you your schedule. They tell you where your classes are. They give you a vinyl of Back in Black by ACDC um, <laughs> just to get you in the mood for what life's going to be like. But things that are that were po super popular then, I would say mullets, but mullets have come in back. Mullets are back. Uh, pegging your jeans. I don't know if anybody oh, yeah, remembers yeah. that. Roll, them over Roll the, the jeans and stuff okay. like that. That's, That's popular. Popular. You don't really see that anymore. Um, rolling up. We were always a little bit behind the time growing up in Perryville. Rolling the sleeves up on your T-shirts. Right. Um, things like that. Get your uh, tickets to the gun show. Oh, that's exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Best excuse you ever heard from a student about not doing what they were supposed to be doing? Oh. I had a kid tell me he was late one time because the cicadas kept him up at night. <laughs> After he went through about four or five other excuses he that finally I threw out, on that one. he's like, well, oh, these cicadas, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, oh, my gosh, that's a great question. I can think of one in particular, but it is so inappropriate, so <laughs> we're not going to go there. Okay. Um, so I'm trying to think of another one. Um, I had a kid tell me he did get arrested. Uh, the okay, night that's a pretty good one. We mobile patrolled it, and he sure did. Sure enough. Sure enough. There yeah, he was. I'm like, well, you know what? I'm going to give you that one. We'll okay. just make it do tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you get an extra day. Did you, you work any, on that? Yeah. Could you work oh, on you that? Oh, you were right in the, the clink? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I want an honest answer here. Okay. I don't, I don't want the generic, you know what, everybody does a great job. Who's the hardest working person at the middle school? They're there early. They stay late. It's all the time, day in, day out. It's your give them the ball. They're going to get you five yards every carry. Who's that person? Well, you know, everybody does a great No, I'm just uh, – I'll tell you somebody that I try to recognize at every opportunity I have because – they're a younger person, and again, that's not a fair question. We work. No, that's a very building. fair question. <laughs> we work. At you the, just don't like the. You just don't like don't the answer like, you yeah. have to give. Uh, at the middle school, everybody does work really hard, but somebody I, I always try to um, advocate for because I see selfishly a, a lot of myself in this person is Logan Comfort at the middle I, school. You know, I knew Logan Comfort was going to be the answer when you started off like that. <laughs> Yeah. Now, you he, know Logan. Logan worked for me and for Dr. Gregory. He at, did. We stole him You guys fair stole and him away. We did. And, uh, and, and we knew he was going to do a great job because he did a great job for us over at Parkside. He, there are great things in his future. Yeah, he's a hard Without work, doubt. Hardworking mm -hmm. young man. Okay. Um, favorite movie of all time? Oh, 
um, oh, what kind of non-pretentious answer, you know, where you can give some German expressionist film. Um, I will tell you a movie that if it's on, no matter where, if it's beginning, last three minutes, sure. middle, Tombstone. Oh, yeah. Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer. Um, you ever notice Val Kilmer looks an awful lot like Jim Morrison? <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? That just looks Crazy. a lot like Jim Morrison. Yeah. Yeah, and great if you've movie. Ever seen the movie, yeah. Oh, Tombstone's fantastic. One-liners galore. I, Moves along real briskly. It, it's it's Kilmer's best role. Yeah, it, it's Kilmer's best role, and and he has most of the one-liners. Yeah, uh, he's most the coolest the, guy in the film. He's the coolest guy in the <clears throat> film. Um, the the line where he, he tells the the girl, uh, then again, you might be the, the Antichrist. Antichrist. <laughs> you know, it's a great line. Um, if you had a superpower, one superpower, what would it be? One superpower, what could it be? Um, oh, this is going to be a cheap answer, but I'm going to give it anyway. Immortality. Immortality. Whoa. And there could be some real downsides to that. Well, yeah, everyone you know dies off. Yeah, yeah. And and that recycle would be, again. Yeah, and that would be horrible. But I think I could make that work. You think, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'd I work around that. Yeah, I'd, I'd get over it eventually. Well, and, and, so, and if you had immortality... What what age would you want to be locked in at? Oh, you got to figure mid twenties, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, because I wouldn't want to be immortal at like you know. No, like as you keep 40, aging, 50 or sixty. Yeah, you keep aging and stuff. I oh, want to no, be in decent, you know, yeah. decent shape where yeah. I can do things, go places. Absolutely. Okay. All right. No one's ever given that answer, and I think it's a very good answer. First thing you would buy if you won the lottery. Don't cheese out. So I'm going to pay off some bills. No, no paying off bills. What are you going to buy? Well, unlike you, I'm not a car guy yeah. or anything like that. But obviously I, I, with the Newport. Yeah, obviously with the Newport. I, that's, I would say I still have it, but I think it just fell apart one day. And we left it in the street, put the title in it, and said, There you go. Free. Someone take it. Yeah, someone take it off our hands. But I'm going to buy me a car, and I want to buy like a Bugatti or something like that, just something that you could have and you go, that shiny thing is mine. Yeah, you drive up the middle school in Bugatti. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, because you're going to keep working. Sure. One of the things that once you got started in admin, mm -hmm. and when I moved over to intermediate, mm -hmm. we would, back and forth, we would release the buses. We would? With musical lyrics. Do you remember any of those? We would say, middle school, you're loaded and ready to roll, and, and we would throw in a musical lyric. Oh. Sometimes it had been altered. Do you remember any mm -hmm. that you would use at the time? Oh. Had some great ones. We did, and you're putting me on the spot. I can't remember very many. I do remember we got out a half day one time because of the weather, and it was sleeting. And I said, down in the land of the ice and snow, I, let's get these buses out of here. Yeah. <clears throat> My favorite one was, you said, you are loaded and you are eastbound and down. <laughs> you are eastbound and down. <laughs> okay, last question. Um, if you were to take a program here at Unitech, you're a junior coming into Unitech, mm -hmm. what program do you think you might like to take that would really interest you? I think Unitech offers so many great programs. It's really, it really is hard to kind of pick one. Um, and being somebody who has a house that's about 12 years old and there's some things that are going down. Mm -hmm. any entropy. Kind of entropy. Things are falling apart. Yeah. Uh, construction, things like that would be good. But I really... Um, we used to be able to work on, like that 74 Newport. I had a friend that had a 72 Camaro. I had another friend that had an 87, um, uh, oh, he had an 87 Grand, Nash, Grand National. Oh, the G-Body style. Yeah, the G-Body style Grand National. Um, automotive, working on cars. You, you could pop that hood open, and you had room to work. There weren't any computers or any chips right. or anything. You could just get in there and fix stuff. Okay. Great answers. And I don't know why it took you so long to get you on the show because you were a great guest. You had some really in-depth answers, and, uh, and it's always fun to have those. And like I said, I, I wasn't going to let you off easy on a couple of these, and, and you put oh, you on no. the spot, and you did a great job. Appreciate that. Be sure to like and subscribe to the Unitech Digital Media channel. And until next time, this is Jeff Colley saying so long. <laughs>